shit. No. No. All right, well, anyway, uh, hello, how you doing? You guys doing good and all that jazz? We're gonna do something special today. As you know, I am a bit of a fan of the um, the Puppet Combo uh, game studio, whatever you want to call them. They made Non-Massacre, non they made Power Drill Massacre, all, all these games. They're loud as shit, and they're they're kind of essentially a uh, little demakey of, of, you know, PlayStation 1-y kind of horror games. They're really jump scary, and I usually hate that shit, but this goes so overboard that it just makes me laugh. Now, they recently put out a pre pretty new game, and we're going to be checking that out tonight. Uh, it is called, um, let's see here. Uh, did I get the name? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. The Glass Staircase. Now, there's a Glass Staircase is apparently a very Silent Hill 2 influence game. So, uh, it's very survival horror-y, you know. Whereas the other games are more run like fuck. So, they're going for a different vibe this time. But I, I do generally like their games. They're not, like, horrible or nothing, but... Um, yeah, but we're gonna be checking that out and uh, totally blind playthrough like all of these games. Uh, if I suck at them, then uh, you know it's another Joel stream. <laughs> uh, but here we go, the glass staircase. Now I want to warn you all: these games are incredibly fucking loud. So I'm gonna try my best to uh, turn on the volume. But I would still urge you, if you like, if you value hearing, turn that shit down. All right. If you don't, then uh, I will blast your ass with jazz. And we're not gonna do that, so... Here we go. Loud there, Joel! <laughs> Alright. And it's funny, too, because we're gonna be doing several horror shit games tonight. Well, not shit games. Horror, comma... Shit, comma games, you know. Anyway. The glass staircase. Yes, in the middle of the night. It's me, shitty Alan Rickman. <laughs> By Griptar's hammer. All right. Here we go. Is this not in, in widescreen? Hang on. No, it's not shitty whisker. Guy god damn it, guys. Get get your memes right. <laughs> it is me, Albert Wesker. One of these days I will stream Resident Evil 1, it will be the unfunniest stream ever. <laughs> Pop a combo. It's the real ones! Wow! Wowie. The glass staircase. Welcome to the mansion crew. Okay, well anyway, uh, now I urge you once again, uh, turn down the fucking volume for these games. Pop it, pop it combo, they are very well known to be making really loud games. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna turn it down for you, but, uh, alright. Anyway, but I'm gonna have the, the volume up, because I, I wanna get scared. I'm a bit of a sucker for, you know, hearing damage. <laughs> but, um, alright, anyway, here we go. No game. Yes. But yeah, this is a Silent Hill 2-esque game, as described, so I'm gonna check it out. That's a very bad design choice. Well, I mean... They do look nice, I'll tell you that. Eh? A loud Hill 2. <laughs> <laughs> you clever bastard. <laughs> we got Silent Hill and Loud Hill! Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Loud there. <laughs> I'm excited though. I'm excited. Alright. Is this a game from the uh, from the non-producers? Yes, this is Puppet Combo, and as I said, I'm a bit of fan of a big big, big fan of their uh, their uh, eccentric way of making games. All right, oh lord! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, it's actually a mouse. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Whoa. Take your tablet? Okay. 
Oh, you know it's gonna go crazy soon. Uh, this is actually pretty nice. I played one of their uh, Christmas games, uh, Planet of the Bloodthirsty Santas, and I kind of hated it. But this is already looking up to be a better game. You shouldn't go! Okay, no, none of that voice. You shouldn't go! You shouldn't go! You shouldn't go! You shouldn't go! Okay. Majid! <laughs> Attention all. Helen, if you all are taking your tablet, please report to the dining hall. We prepared a fair new task for you. The on the table will have further infrastructure. Remember, good girls take their medicine, good girls do their chores, good girls go home. This is all, ladies. Okay. Uh oh. Oh man. They picked you, Helen. I can't wait to go home myself. Oh, bomb next. Ah, good. Good. I like that. Oh, I, I bet they're willing to fuck with the player now. Like a thing jumping at you during the loading time. Ooh, that's that's always been a fucking phobia of mine in the Resident Evil games. Loading area with the door, and then suddenly, what? You know. And I know they're gonna do something with that, cause this game doesn't require loading times like that. Oh man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I had enough. I had enough fight. <laughs> okay. okay. I love this so far. Oh, hey, what's this? Okay, you, a painting was here and it's been ripped down. This is pretty fucking legit, man. I I, I, I like this. Can I open this up? I can't. <laughs> this fucking camera angle. What? Okay, well. Hmm. A musty wardrobe. Musty? Musty. Oh, man. Okay, maybe I gotta go down to the lower floor. Hello? Can I push it, perhaps? It is very Silent Hill, like Resident Evil inspired, so I figured, but... I guess I gotta go down, huh? Alright. You just know I'm gonna get lost here, because, well... With any of these fixed camera games, it's always some spot you're like, Oh, I could've gone there? What the hell? You know... Okay, grandfather clock usually is something. How long have I been here? Something on the sofa? Alright, who is it? The painting was here, it was ripped down. It's locked, alright. Joel gets lost the stream. Well, just a sofa. With anything, with these games. Man, I can't. I, 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 I always say this, but I always like the calm before the storm with these games. You know, the scariest shit is not when shit is just going 200 miles per hour, you know. It's just this, like, lurching atmosphere. You're like, okay, what the fuck is gonna happen? Because I, I don't know anything about this. I haven't even seen a screenshot of it. I was just informed that they released a new game. It's locked. I can't just escape. Of course, of course I can't. Nothing useful. Where's this fucking piano coming from? It stopped. Now it's not time for a dance off. Oh wait, is, is, is there's some frame drops tonight? Oh shit, but there's not too many frame drops, so whatever. Don't like this. Hmm. It's not that bad, really. Okay. 
Okay, something in here. It's locked. Everything's locked. Hmm, I wonder. It's been ripped. All the paint has been ripped down. Maybe I shouldn't be here yet. Hey, what was this about? The face! Oh. Hmm. Somebody mentioned that, that I missed something on the sofa. Everything is locked. Alright, I think I've been everywhere then. Alright, let's get out of here. The face! The face! Oh, fuck. Maybe, maybe something has changed now that I've been... Oh, man. I hate this atmosphere. Well, I love it, but you know, I hate it. Because you just know there's gonna be like a... Something creepy is gonna show up. I'm like, oh, fuck, Mr. Kill, you know? Okay. Oh, man. Oh, Lord. Man, those fucking doors is gonna scare the shit out of me if something is gonna come out. Oh, hey, what's this? A letter, read it. Though your time here has been short, it is still important that you can be determined as reliable. We would like you to be intending to the front garden of the estate. Twice a day you will need to feed. You will need to feed and water. No, not that voice. Water the flower bed as well as maintain the hedges. We are willing to trust you this task to you. As you have been very regular in taking your medicine, where some of the girls are somewhat unreliable. You can't expect your parents to want you back if you're unreliable, can you? This year, the others from running about outside. We have hidden the key beneath the downstairs piano. Please return it to when you're done. Each day. Each day. And be sure to let none of the other girls see you. You're a good girl, Helen. Mm. Can I take the note, or... What about this, uh, vase? What's with this low-budget Resident Evil? That's funny, because Resident Evil was not a high-budget game back in the day. Uh, I mean, it, it might have, but the voice acting is kind of contradictory to that. Smash, smash it? Wait, wait, back up. Back up the truck. Something in the window. Oh, this is a fucking tree. Alright. The wind chime. It's like I can really get here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Guess we're running back. <sighs> Alright. Did did Wesker I mean I don't, it was more like Resident Evil 5 where Wesker's like voice acting really hit the shitter, in my opinion. But I don't remember him speaking like very well, like you know, I think he did speak with a bit of a Scooby Doo inflection in the original. So it's the piano downstairs, huh? Resident Evil 5, 5 was fine. Oh, it was fine, but his voice acting was... good. <laughs> so where's this piano? Uh, I mean, I know it's downstairs, but like, where actually is it? It's locked. Complete. Global. Saturation craze. Yes. I know it's really funny craze. I have totally forgotten to put that shit on Spotify, Chris. Yes. You know, if I was really funny, I could just get the voice actor of Chris. I mean, uh, not Chris, Albert Wesker. On YouTube for my best of 2018 video. But I'm not gonna do that, because I'm gonna get someone someone way more cool. I could say, make him say any funny shit I wanted to. Maybe then. Maybe then, Chris. You know what I could do? I could have him say funny shit, and then people could say, Wow, Joel, that impersonation is really good. I know you paid $2,000. And people still think it's a goddamn impersonation, like last year, with lazy game reviews and not John St. John. Wow, Joel, that is a really good Duke Nukem. Sounds just like the real guy. Ah, cool. Because I just paid a lot of money for him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, whoa, here we go. Nothing useful. I can't just go out. Uh, it wasn't lit. Yes, it wasn't. Okay, there's some place I missed. That's locked. Hmm. 
Hmm, maybe it's the... I think I missed up here that I... Hang on. Honestly, it wasn't $2,000, just you know. Like, if you, if you want to get shit done, it's it's not that bad when it comes to... Um, uh, voice acting and stuff like that. It, it'll cost you, but it's reasonable, you know. But somebody... Oh, yeah, I see what you guys mean. I didn't see that last time. Sorry, my bad. A letter. Here we go. A letter addressed to Martin M. Tatum. Casey Tatum. The sounds you were hearing. The one at night in your dreams. The one that's been ringing in your head. Since our days in the trenches, it never went away, did it? Mine either. Martin, it's starting to make sense. There's been this heat. I felt all the way in Scottsdale. It's been burning in, my, in me for months. Filling my head with dreams. Beautiful dreams. They've been telling me where to go. Sure, I was worried when I... Sure, I was worried I was crazy, but I met others along the way. We've all seen it, all felt it. It's not some made-up illness they're giving to us. It's something real, this beautiful machine. It opens doors. I've seen it in my dreams, and I think I need to find it. I think it's where we were headed. Something so much larger than I thought, Martin, than I could ever dream. It's your dreams I've been speaking to you as well. You know what you're yourself. Come to the garage, mocking this envelope. It's the manner that I've seen in the eyes above, open above. Come with us, it's going to be so beautiful. Sincerely, Lieutenant Grayson Dobbs. Okay, so I read both letters, but... So we need to find the piano, huh? There is some... Is that a tree? What is that in the window? Who's that old boy? Okay, if I haven't been here yet... locked too. So we need to find something here, but hmm. It's also locked. Just a sofa. So where could it be that I missed? Then you know these games, there's gonna be a lot of exploring and just uh How does a house even get foggy? Someone someone smoke what hang on. You know I there was some shenanigans there a second? Wait, hang on. Oh. Uh-oh. Don't break now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's let's not let's not keep going for for 10 minutes and ruin this game's atmosphere, all right? Not allowed back in shit. A painting was ripped here, but it was okay. Wait, hang on. There's something in there. I guess it's the other place, but... Uh, hmm... Whoa, 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 ha hang on! <laughs> okay. Hmm, maybe the, uh... The thing's here, perhaps. Empty, empty, empty. Oh, hang on! Nothing useful. It's locked. Shit. Mm, where's the place I haven't been yet? To one of the camp. Well, this this place, but I can't really see anything here. Uh, I mean, I can't open the window either. So, hmm, I wonder where it could be. Just vases. Go back to my room. I'm not allowed in again. So, hmm. Let's see here. <laughs> you can't win the game now because your ankle broke. You. There's got to be something here that I missed. There's a lot of these paintings just around. How long have I been here? All right. I'm willing to bet that it's something really obvious I missed. And I'm like, oh, God damn it. There it is. Hmm? Hmm? Hey now. Oh. Oh, what's this over here? A journal, okay. 
read this. November 11th, 19, 1918, Edward at last returned home from the Great War. I give thanks to the Lord for his safe return from Germany. To think that just days before, he was ripped from me to be a doctor in the war that we were married. He returned to his job at Queen's Mary's Hospital in London. What a dreadful drive. It's back and forth, day in and day out. And with the ep epidemic that's been plaguing the countryside, well, I worry for his health. God willing, he'll be all right as he helps those poor souls. My husband hasn't been the same since he went back to the work, okay? For weeks he's been spending more time in the basement than the rest of the house. He doesn't even come to bed most nights. He sometimes finds himself asleep down there in his lab, asleep on the desk, and during the day, no less. I asked him if he, I asked him if he himself should visit the hospital for a checkup, but he brushed it off, saying I was a doctor and now he knows better than me. I can't help but fret, though. He barely touches the meals Mar Maria makes him. He used to be, he used to love her cooking, okay? So very much. I fear she and the rest of the hired help are worried as well. If the world is to know anything of me from this journal, let it be let it be that I've always been an understanding with I feel like I, I, I I'm reading in front of a classroom right now and I'm stuttering for no goddamn reason. I'm like but the cat the hat Alright. The love I felt for Edward in all our years together has never waned. Not in the loneliness and uncertainty of the war, and not in the new growing void between us. This void of obsession. As many fears as I've had, I've always put the rational aside when I've heard him assure that us that these experiments were necessary, and that they were going to repair what faith his colleagues once had in his ideas. Perhaps even save the lives of so many more that still suffers this horrible affliction. Spectacular a thought as that may be, his words were all I had during the war, and they're all I have now the fate his promises provided me. However, it's becoming too worn to be out of a new comfort. Though it was far against his will, I've been private to the growing scope of his work for a while now. What started off as the same treatment and experiments that I've followed him through for years has become something else entirely large, horrible structures. Have been this focus for some time now. They look as mechanical as any transport I've seen, but their shapes are much more ornate. The iron that holds their frames have been carved to so deliberately with hellish shapes, though they resemble something I am beyond being able to describe exactly what. To call these metal shells sinister will be admitting I even understand what they are and what they are supposed to accomplish. This is far than any medicine that I've been known him to practice. He continues with his cold, affirming responses. His destiny only seems to widen from his work and from sciences that he swears by, but I can only sit in as idle as I can, swearing some hope that his plants are going as he says. It is hard to ignore the things I'm hearing in the night. The murmurs of the helps. Of the help as they come to me for some kind of assurance. Expecting that I know the mouse of action as I have as good as I should. I have nothing for them but the promise that he gives me. He's a doctor. He knows what he's doing. Nothing I say to them can be said in confidence anymore. I may have been understanding my wife, but there are limits to even my understanding. Okay, good. Well, everybody, that was Lord of the Rings. Uh, Tolkien was a great writer. I'm glad to share my uh, illiteracy with you, and I hope you had a good time hearing me stutter throughout that. <sighs> okay, an old piano. Here we go. What's this? An old key, huh? Ha! Ah! You found it! Okay. Keep in mind, I it's it's seven in the morning almost. I am a little tired. You know. You're a good speaker, Joel, and a bad reader. So the question is, where's this go? You know, now that I have this key. I'm willing to bet shit's gonna be different. You know what I'm talking about. Uh oh. Who is? Call the Ghostbusters. Attention all. Attention all. This is the estate. Betty, you have even already taken your tablet. Please report to the dining hall. Prepare a new task for you. The letter on the table will further the directions. Remember, good girls have to get a medicine. Good girls have to the shorts. Good girls go home. This is all, ladies. I might be a bad reader, but I read fast. 
What if I don't take my medicine? Let me guess, each time I do this, bad ending. What do you remember about your parents? How did they make it far? I don't believe what they're telling you. The song last time is pretty weird. Guys, I think there's a bit of poop in my pantaloons after that. <laughs> Hang on. Am I a different character now? Ah, that's that's cool. I like that. Each day she was taken. And now I'm uh uh what wh what's her face? Okay, now we gotta search around. But they're all different, I take it, yeah? Mm. The ugly one! So and so! <laughs> What's your face? Okay. Team Girl Squad! Corn is no place for a mighty warrior. <laughs> I miss video games. Arrowed! And this is the same journal, yeah? Okay, let's see here. Early this morning, a package arrived for you from an unconfirmed career. The matter cannot be expected to assume responsibility for your delivery, but as courtesy, we are informing you to retrieve it. Please do this immediately, lest something happen to your delivery. That would be a terrible shame, especially if it were from your mother. Uh -oh. The stream is dying, Joel? Was, okay. No worry. It's the same area, I guess. Oh. It's fine? Oh, it's fine now. Yeah, it's a little shaky tonight, but uh, I think I think it's fine right now. Let's see here. Ah, oh, he's just... I've encoded, uh, I've encoded 11... 111,000 frames, and I've dropped 3,000. So, I mean, that's, that's fine, given the circumstances. Okay. There are a great many things that I've been able to overlook in my role as lady of the house. The awful sounds, the confusing orders my husband has given the help. The smells! Oh, the unholy smells! None of this is terribly unfamiliar to his work. The extremes of which he's willing to push my familiarity with medicine as the reasoning is starting to make me think of myself as losing touch with reality. What I haven't been able to ignore is the heat. Many nights I've been laid and wake in the empty bed, simply watching the windows as this terrible heat overtakes my body. Not a heat that can be felt in the air, but something more intense. Almost like a fever, but not quiet. As it doesn't radiate from me, it merely finds itself, it finds its nest in my body, burning for hours on end. Nothing I do seems to fight off this sensation. No medication I find from Edward's records. No salve replication I can find. I've taken to simply shedding my sleepwear and starting out and... Staring out in the middle, like, okay. Hoping it passes. Oh, thank you so much, Carinello. Much as I want to believe this is merely my mind deceiving my body, the term determinate nature of this illness coinc coincides far too closely with the continuation of Edward's perverse sciences, if they even are to consider sciences anymore. The longer I permit him to continue his work, the further away is is drawn into it, and I have no proper recourse. This is our life, and I'm responsible as his, he, he is. At this point, I've come to understand that whatever he's come to study, whatever this illness is, it certainly isn't what he once fought to cure. It's taking its toll on his body as well as mine, and I fear it. Our housekeepers are starting to feel a similar dredge. Be it this illness is something more akin to dread. Beyond that, the night sky has much more terrible glow. As of late, where I am more of a superstitious woman, I may perceive this as some kind of omen of ill fate. But I am married to the rational world as I was when I met Edward. Still a greater part of me wishes he were, he were rather than horrible nights. He used to be able to comfort me. That's all. May the beauty is gone. Maybe the husband is gone. Wow. <laughs> you know, they call me Scat Scatman Joel. I'm sort of like Scatman John. 
we're, we're different. Okay. Should probably just check what door has the package or whatever. Hmm. But hang, hang on, if I'm a different character, why is he saying I moved it into the corner? That's... Listen, that really took me out of the game, not my asinine rating of a nine-year-old. No, it's that one line of, of the piano that really took me out of the immersion here. Alright, uh-oh. I'm sure this will go fine. I'm sure it'll be nice and good. Oh, hey now. How many frames are we dropping? Oh, we're dropping a little bit more frames. Eh, whatever. Hmm. Oh man, camera angles, look at this. Hello? The crematorium. It's locked. Okay. Surprisingly, there's no chasing in this game. Like, I thought it was gonna be way more... Well, I don't know that yet, but... You know, compared to, like, Power Drill Massacre and shit like that... This is way more... Subtle, in a way. But I I'm willing to bet that any moment now, they're gonna give me a giant... Blunderbuss and Mr. Kill is gonna pop out and try to like eat my eyeballs. There's something here, I know it. There's no way they'd lead me outside and not give me so a sort of thing. Hmm. Could that be though? Really oh, 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 I can just open the gate. Now, I don't know about you guys, but th this this rain is really relaxing me. It's like... Oh, now... Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know, the moment I pick this shit up... He's gonna pop out. A wet note, read it. <clears throat> we have all seen the ice, have we not? We have all felt the heat that powered us here. There is only the one feeling we have all shared. And now we must wait. That wait may be hurt, but it might be unforgiving. But we must wait. The dreams continue to through us. We have seen the doors open. The eye that follows us from the parted clouds. Show us the path to our salvation. The end of that will free us from the binds that of all prophecies and bring our savior to us. We must wait. As the darkness makes our dream the reality, now we are. We must wait. The rest is missing. I believe Twitch chat wrote that note. Welcome to the maze. The maze of torment. Maybe it's not a good idea to be run around in a in a maze like that. I know something's gonna pop out and like try to get me, man. And the moment that happens, pantaloons will be filled. Nah, you don't think so? Okay. Went up there. <laughs> the pee pee poo poo man. <laughs> okay, so that goes here, then it must be up here. Okay. Fuck, you know, th this sounds a little silly, but, uh,. I am a little half half spooked. This game has good atmosphere, man. Should we haven't been yet? Oh, hang on. 
that's a that's a note. The, the, this 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 track we're listening to right now. Did you know there's a there's a musical genre called dungeon? I'm not kidding about that. You can find dungeon tracks on YouTube. It's a, it's an actual genre, and it's just this like sweat music. I'm not been here yet. And it was funny because it's it's it related to black metal. It's got that like atmosphere to it. But what's funny about it, like, I was I was look uh, well, okay, I was uh, going through a playlist on YouTube of Dungeon, the best of Dungeon, like compilation. And one of the tracks is just like I, I really reverbed the Golden Axe soundtrack, and it made me laugh. Because I know some fucker out there's like, yes, this is really evil and great. But I'm like, this is fucking gold Golden Axe. Dun, 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 it's called Dungeon Synth, yeah, exactly. Okay. Oh, Lord. Oh, progress. Oh, fuck. You know, the... Th this will be the item. I picked this shit up. I picked this shit up and... Bopped. Okay. Here we go. Carry it back inside. Oh. Okay, well, um... Let's see how good, the uh, FedEx is. <coughs> Here comes that UPS. You know, I'm just gonna tell you right now. Rain is stopping. Uh-oh. I'm gonna take it really, really quiet. The grass scared the shit out of me. I saw the grass and I thought it was a, like a man. Who is it? Who is it? If there is something strange in your neighborhood, who you gonna call? Who are you gonna call? <laughs> Return the slab! Oh, suffer my curse! Dum -pa -dum -pa -dum -pa -dum -dum. I'm sorry, someone got the boots on? Jumping in the stairs? Who's doing construction work out here? Gojira! Masako! Sore wa Gojira san! Okay. Wait. Wait, hang on. What was, what was the way back? Guys. Did the walls close in? Stop fucking with the tom drums! Oh, I think this is the best way. Oh, here we go. It's changed. I don't like this. The real one. <laughs> uh. Okay. Who's left now? There's one more day. Attention all, attention all, this is the state. Dorothy, if you bother taking your tablet, please return to the dining hall. We've had a new task for you. The letter on the table will have further directions. If a good girl is sitting in medicine, good girl is sitting in George, good girl go home. This is all, ladies. 
If you're experiencing a uh, ringing in your ears, that is uh, that is called uh, fun. Uh, you are experiencing fun right now, so. Okay. Hey, what do you know? Last two, I guess. Well, b what optimism? I guess I'll die. Uh. Uh. I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what. Say what you will about these games, but they are highly entertaining. Oh, man. I'm Dorothy now, and the last one is Betsy. Oh, Jesus. Joe, so you made me pee pee and poo poo uh, playing scary stuff. Try this door, I guess. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know, wouldn't it be fucked if I also scared you guys? Like, I would just, like, talk on a random anecdote about pizza or some bullshit like that, and I would just, like, out of nowhere, just kind of go, BOOM! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want this anymore. Boo, boo, boo. Oh, here we go. Arming our keys. Pick up the keys. All right. A letter. Dorothy, we begin entering the. Le okay, let me let me read this. We begun entering the later year. As such, our daylight hours are getting shorter. We've been trusting you to light all the manor's candles before nightfall. Oh no, not this kind of shit! As well as snuffing them out in the morning. This is a large responsibility. We trust that you are more than capable of it. We must do our part here. You're such a responsible young lady, Dorothy. Surely your family will be glad to have you home. Oh god damn it! I. Fine. I'm fine. Okay, well. Oh. Oh man. You must collect the eight pages from Mr. Mr. Spaghetti. That's right. <laughs> Guys, the soundtrack has been provided by uh, the laundry room. Who's washing their pantaloons? Well, maybe me after playing this game. A box of matches. Will you take it? Yes. Light the candle. Oh, man. You know it's just going to be worse and worse. Well, how about this? The giant monster. But how, do, how about I make him some peppermint tea? Maybe I'll chill out. I will say this. Uh, I, In a way, I feel... This game has been really subtle with the jump scare shit like that. It, it feels more of a... It feels more of a horror game than it feels more of a I'm gonna die of a heart attack game like the other games. I, I kind of like this one a lot, actually. I mean, I might take the piss out of it because I always do, but still. Okay, who got the ecto cooler on the floor? Maybe I can go into my inventory, light it on fire. Hang on, no. No, 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 no. Nothing useful. Um. heard that you guys heard that you guys heard that noise you all heard that noise meow it was mr cat wow And the Lord saith unto me, 
going to the masses and preach my word, for the kingdom of heaven is but a lie. Indeed, this is a lie, a lie. The God of our forefathers is dead. In this place, we will awaken a dark new lord. A better lord from below, below. We will arise, arise, and take the smoldering world of man. <coughs> My brothers and sisters, all salvation lies in our zoom. Apple pie. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Well, where's the candle? Oh, there it is. Oh, man. You know there's a game on Steam called The Haunted Toilet, and it's literally exactly what you think it is. Like, it's, it's that stupid. New voice unlock. Yeah, I, I notice I can like I unlocked a, a weird voice. I can like do shitty um shitty meat wad. Uh, can I do something in here? Wilfer Brimley. Diabetes. Can I make fun of Wilfer Brimley seeing as I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a diabetic too? <laughs> yes, I I have the power. All right, apple pie. Hey, did you guys know that the barbecue pit boys have now opened up a bar and restaurant? Isn't that crazy? You can you know all those like crazy stuffed bell pepper recipes and stuff like that. The, wherever the pit boys are, they have a grill now. You can go there and you can. You get something good. Good. Eat him. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine, everybody. La 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 la. La 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 la. If there is something strange and it don't look good. Who are you gonna call? The goo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, we're doing another unboxing video. Okay, uh... I don't, I don't think noise factors into this game, but I feel so fucking paranoid walking around. Am I gonna continue Resident Evil 2? Oh, yeah, 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 but I, I just took a break because we were doing Resident Evil 2 for, like, a lot of months. You know, I don't know about you guys, but, uh... Feels a bad idea to go upstairs now. Let's do it anyway. Tell what, tell what. We'll moonwalk to confuse him. You know when you're fucking laughing, you can't just you can't form your lips to to like whistle. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> A journal, read it. Uh, strange men and women have been congregated outside the mansion for days. There have been at least 20 or more of them. They all have the almost glassy eyes and the most palest skin. They don't seem to eat or drink, nor they direct to the bitter winds outside. They stand about, shuffling here and there, and sometimes they sit, sometimes they sleep, but most of them just stand, trying to look inside the windows or knock on the door. 
Bartholomew and William have already quit because of it. I can't pretend to blame them. I've asked them to what, what they want, and they just tell me they want to see Edward. What do the people want to do is see my husband, okay? He was he see me, let alone strangers. I've only seen him since August. He was moving boxes through the back of the manor. He yelled at me to get away. And I did as he said. I'm afraid of nowhere to go. My God! I heard gunshots. Not from outside, from the basement. Six shots and, and agitating yelling from my husband. I and the servants brave enough to venture out of their rooms, rushed to the basement door and called for him. There was a terrible banging at the door, then four more shots. I heard something fall down the stairs, but my husband screamed at us to get away. He almost sounded scared, or worse, relieved. I can't just keep pretending that there's something I can salvage from this. Whatever he's doing is only growing in scale, and the horrible hum. Form? Four? For form his damn machine is merely the chorus to the strategy that I know. I know call our life. God, Edward, please. Well, it's good. There's a misspelling and I can't read it. Maybe what I <laughs> maybe what I knew of my husband and his work was always a lie, and I want to believe that something changed in him, perhaps during the war. Perhaps his need to find an end to this plague, as you understand it. We used to speak of all kinds of things for our future, and maybe it was simple, perhaps even idealized idealized but they were a dream that we could both see so clearly i can't seem to see that dream anymore the world is buried beneath nothing but the agony i felt when i last saw his cold dead eyes eyes not far removed from the gangs of shambling lunatics that gather at our door at all hours perhaps there's a new illness that i nor any of our help has heard of it's not as if I've heard, had the opportunity to leave this prison in so long, and the whole world could be entrenched in another great war, for as far as I could know. A prison, that's how I'm from, far from these those dreams of the future I've gone. The home that we were to grow together has become nothing more than a prison that I live in a waking nightmare in. Perhaps that waking nightmare is preferable to the ones that I see at night, on the rare occasions the heat doesn't return, shaking my every fiber awake. <clears throat> There is no doubt in my mind that he could no longer see the future we won't speak so wistfully of. I doubt I can see much of anything anymore. Nothing beyond that hellish engine he's brought into our home. At first, I've been able to ignore the abominable sins that my husband has brought into our home. But with each night, there are new terrible sounds. Some mechanical, some horribly human, all completely unnatural. I am no doctor, nor should I ever hope to become one. But the godless acts Edward has begun participating in, and the droves of mumbling madmen that now gather at our yard in some kind of perverse congregation tells me that there is no longer a hope in my heart that my husband is any more of a man of science. If there were a hope, if there were such a hope, it died with whatever abomination is taken to shooting in the dead of the night. I no longer know if I fear my husband, but I am certain that I fear whatever the thing has replaced him is. Edward has allowed- SHUT THE FUCK UP CHAD I'M READING! <laughs> Edward has allowed himself to be taken to hell, and I will doubtlessly be forced to follow. Jesus guys, you guys, there's little kids. Joel, where are the pictures? This, this reading, this reading is for boogers. I, I don't like it. <laughs> A first aid kit. Heal yourself. Heal myself. Uh-oh. What do you mean heal myself? I'm fine. Sure, it's fine. It's fine. Well, it's fine. Look, it's fine. It's fine. <clears throat> oh, I saw the other door, or what's was inside the door. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I saw this as a cat that was stretched out on the floor right here. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Okay, it's locked shit. Okay. I guess that's the last part. You know, something's gonna come out of that closet, I know it. It was me all along, Dorothy! It was me! Death guy! Mr. Kill! Dr. Blood! And now I come here to make spaghetti out of your lungs! Oh shit.
Oh no, it's getting hokey now. <laughs> you heard about that stanky leg? <laughs> doom ba boom ba boom ba da da da. Okay. Last day. Should I be taking my medicine? Let's take my tablet. I'm sure it's it's a good thing. I put this one with the others. The lockpick is under my pillow. Well, under your pillow. Shouldn't be getting it. Yeah. Is this, the, is this the game from the same makers from of Drill Non Massacre? Yeah, you combine two games into one, but yes. Uh oh. All right. I, I would say the. You know what I would prefer? Maybe if the. This sounds a little weird, but. I think it would benefit the art style if these characters didn't have any faces, in a way. It would feel more like... Uh, I don't know. It would fit the aesthetic. When I see, like, a default Unity asset character that just smiling, like... Mm, I feel a little, like... You know. But whatever. I left a rifle like we talked about. You have to kill it tonight. The door to the laboratory is under the porch. Oh, shit. What? Oh, fuck. Guns? Whoa! Let her read it. Uh-oh. Oh fuck, now we're now we're in power drill massacre territory. Uh-oh. The door to the lab is under the porch. Okay. Well, I hope that he doesn't just come out of nowhere and a large clanging noise is gonna dun, 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 dun. Like the usual games. I'm packing heat. Alright. Listen. Five bucks says that once Mr. Kill comes out, it's gonna play like a large clanging noise. Clang, 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 clang. Oh shit, that's the chandelier that dropped. The chandelier's fallen. Give him the old sausage gravy. Large pizza. Wait a minute, it's gonna be loud. I'm sure it'll be fine. So I've lit all the candles, so this is good. Oh man, if there's something I hate in video games, it's when you like have to light candles and you have to do it really quickly, or else like one of them burns out and the whole sequence is fucked. And then you're also stressed because you have something chasing you at the same time. Oh god damn. It's like that part in Link to the Past. I know that's like a bad example, but you all know what I'm talking about. Okay. <clears throat> Stream volume is at like 12%. Well, don't worry, guys. Listen. It's, it's gonna be a gentle creature and it's gonna go, Here I am. I'm... I'm gonna hurt you because I'm a bad guy. Here I come. Here I come. Boop. Got you. It's locked. Fuck, I gotta find a key for this. My question is, do I even have ammo for this thing? Oh god. Sausage gravy. <laughs> now where the hell could Oh you're telling me I gotta, gotta go outside for this You have a lockpick you dingus Well I mean there's no reason they would put me outside If they wouldn't want me to Okay I mean I'll, I'll try again I guess I'll come in Alright Here's a gun, but no ammo. <laughs> okay, let's try that again, I guess. That is the porch you need to get to. Maybe, maybe that's like a reverse thing. Like you want you want to go to the porch first, and then like there's a reverse way of getting in again. I guess. Is this game scary? Well, everything is subjective, so I mean, it's it's all up to you. 
it's locked. Okay, well, um, <laughs> okay. Action. Nope, can't do that. Nope, my guys, I, I, I can't do nothing, man. Five, uh, we got five bullets in this game, so we better make the most use of it. Five shots. You're pretty good. All right. Well. Okay. What is this game called? This the game is called the Glass Staircase, and it's pretty good. I, I like it. It it it's a little hokey at times, but whatever. I I'm willing to accept some jank because the atmosphere is lovely. Like I might be streaming this game, so it, I get a lot of uh. Like, it doesn't feel as scary, but let me tell you something. If I play this at full volume, and it was the middle of the fucking, like, dark in my apartment, I would sit there, and I would just continuously, like, make, make doo-doo. I would be a shit machine. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I can't go past this, can I? No, okay. You know, silence is the most scary thing you can listen to. Not... No, 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 no. That sweet, deafening silence. Wait, wasn't that... The laboratory was, like, on the porch. Oh, it's, yeah, hang on, I'm, I'm gone too far. <laughs> okay. Good gravy. Like I was thinking it was here, just a sofa. When they mean Hmm The press it's beneath. Yeah, there it is. Th that's what they mean. They didn't literally mean like, yeah, okay, go, I've been here. Oh, Lord. Welcome. Welcome, uh, Margaret, to Umbrella Corporation. <laughs> Welcome to the dungeon. <laughs> the T virus, the G virus, and now the X virus. Welcome to Jurassic Park. I mean, I mean, fuck Umbrella Corporation. Who is it? Is it? Is it? Uh, first the T-Virus, now the D-Virus. Alright, my suspicions were not com was not only confirmed, but completely validated by my final discovery last night. The Zealots were less than happy to come to realize my line of questioning hadn't ceased even after several more months of my experiments. The hierarchs took me took to keeping me as content with the research material as possible. Hopefully keep me stimulated. Stimulated? Okay, perhaps too much, so much to ask my question while the radiant heat from the engine slowly cooked away my mind and warped my body. It's quite unfortunate for them to that these walls are my walls. What? And that I know where to get anywhere I need in this manner. This is what led me to finally listen to you in another per perverse sermons. The things that these madmen ramble on about would give man pause, but hardly make him listen far beyond that. I've been Far too close to these happenings for far too long to not listen, though. Listen, understand, they spoke of their great god in the machine. They spoke of it communicated through the dreams, as it had with me, showing them prophetic visions, visions of the future. Speak of the, la the day machine is finally fed the blood of the last innocent. They speak of the blood-red sky opening to their lords. The convergence of the two worlds. The legions of our fall, and they will return to the herald on the reconnection of the true world to our own. Now, shut the fuck up, chat. 
Um, and the slaughter that will fall every city on man, and that their own bodies will begin ascending in their holy vessels. Everything I've been seeing has been given a new context, and I realize that I've been betrayed. Every single thing the entity had told me had been means to complete the bridge. Cain's terrible staircase to his to his gods, or a weaker man, perhaps my mind would have been so gone as to this news meaning nothing to me. To this news meaning, okay. But the truth is before my eyes. I will bring to the devil to the running world, blah, 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 blah. The more blood I spill, the closer I get to... Okay, I get it. Religious zealots, science, okay. The maniacs seem to have yet to notice how suspicious I've become, which will work to my advantage. It will... It will take no time to d disable the t devices. I, I've got, fuck, I'm so illiterate tonight. I'm reading this like, like a little five-year-old. <laughs> And hopefully even less time to destroy it. My body may be changing the same as all others, but my strength is far from gone. If I can truly dismantle the device, then I may have some chance at salvation. Ah, oh, here we go. This will take some time, but if I am left to my devices, as I've been, I'm not time to tie up the loose ends that I may be left in this research and plan for safe patch of, of my darling Juliet. Oh God, Juliet! My wife! How I've betrayed her. If she still even resides in this hellhole I've created for us, then I must tell her the truth. Seek some kind of forgiveness, though my accent may be some evas and the lunatics. Let it never be said that I have stopped loving my Juliet. I will save her from this future. I will end this all myself. I just need enough time to put this into motion. Okay, please wait for me, my love. Let me be the man you know I am. To the care of Dr. Hauser. Okay. So I'm getting a lot of first aid kits, but... Now, do I open this up? Hmm. Hmm. That's where I came from. Okay. Oh, man. Did you know the voice actor for West Girls with the Kira and the Jojo dub? Wow, that guy's getting work, I guess. <laughs> Okay. Ah, 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 what's this? Yes, sure, I'll... Uh oh What have I done? Oh, man. More first aid kits? A letter. <sighs> Chat. Listen, basically, Ooga Booga, Zombie, Kill, Scare Ya. <laughs> Garrett, the boy look with her. Oh, yes. Garrett, the cousin. Garrett. This will be all worth it in the end. It has to be. Okay. It's cr Crimbo. Yes. Journal entries. Not ready to read all this. Religion and hoo ha. And they all was in the experiments. I get it. You know. Cream bus. All right. Basically, uh, basically, the story is this. The story is this. This doctor was in the war. Scary shit happened. Experiments. Boohoo. And now, now I gotta clean up his mess. I mean, I think we all deducted that, you know. What's this? One of these corpses is gonna get up, I know it.
it all led up to this. It was just some guy. It was just some guy making all these journeys, uh, journals and all that to have his wife fart on me. This game is fucking terrible. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, we can't have boobies on screen. No, no. Those are too pixelated. We can't have that. Damn it. We've been kind of four more, four worse fate. No, we can't have poorly pixelated titties. Go on when I edit this on YouTube. I'm going to have to like go frame by frame and just put vlog shrooms everywhere. Are you serious? I have to... <laughs> okay, fine. Listen, I know our weak spot. Booby. Okay. Okay, here we go. Where'd she go? Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh god! <laughs> okay, you know that meme about the little baby running away? It reminds me a lot of that. What the hell? What the hell is this ending, man? Like, th this... This became really... <laughs> really dumb? I mean, not that I was like super smart earlier, but... <laughs> okay. Dorothy, she's gone mad. Yeah, she lost her pants. Okay. What is it about horror games that always turn into this? I mean, I wish it could just retain that spooky atmosphere constantly. I I, I rant a lot about in this during horror games, but I wish it would just be always scary. But the moment I get a gun and, like, boobies show up, I feel... It gets a little silly. Heal boy. Uh, warning. Oh, uh, yeah, hang on. Speaking of that, I should probably reload. Wasn't there a... Was there a first aid kit in that other room, or...? Wasn't there, like, one earlier? There was. Oh, okay. This still has a lot of potential. Oh, no, no, this is not a bad game or anything like that. I'm just generally... Whenever whenever stuff gets a little, you know... Let's get a little silly at the end. Okay. A little silly. What, here? What are you talking about? There ain't no fucking... Well, you know, I could probably just open this door up because... Uh... You know what? No, 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 no. You guys are talking shit. That's not in this room. There's one in the... Like, the boiler room or whatever. I can go back to the, the house. Oh, fuck. Camera angles make me dizzy. Alright, here we go. Director Arsal also sorts of adds to the humor. Um, well, I would say humor. In fact, I think that. Hang on. My favorite thing about this game is actually uh, the art style. I mean, I don't like the character models all that much, but I just like the look of it. It looks grainy and it looks like you know, it's great. Alright. I hate the limited color range posturing effect. I, I love that. This would be one of those uh one of those times where you would go into the save room and you would get a moment of serenity, you know. That was not in this room. Was it earlier? Yeah, it was earlier, right. Yeah. 
I just wish the scares weren't so lame and subpar. Well, the, these this is a puppet uh, horror game, and they they all they kind of all have this vibe to them where it's you know loud noise, which I hate, but you know I I still feel like it's not the worst way of doing it. I mean, but besides, honestly, if you made a horror game just for me, it would be the most boring thing ever. It would literally just be like. You would never see the monster, and you would only the music would just become post of like whispers, and it would just it would never amount to anything. And I would just be like, "You ever play that game?" And I'd be like, "Yeah, that game sucked, Joel." <laughs> All right. Puppet combo's goal is to just make cheesy VHS. Well, they're succeeding in it. I like their games. I don't look like everything they do, but I mean, they, they make okay games for sure. My, my dream horror game, I've talked about this before, but my dream horror game is this like uh, cabin in the in the woods, not cabin in the woods like the movie, but like this cabin in the woods game where you just, it's just in the middle of the night in the game, you wake up and you get a glass of water or something like that, and you just see like a uh, a figure in the in the window and it's it ba basically I I'll spoil what it is it's an alien abduction game and I know you guys are gonna meme the fuck out of me but I have some fucked up sh shit in my brain where when I whenever I see alien grace I freeze up and I want a game where it's just like each night you have to just survive and there's no like they're gonna shop you down with an axe it's just like objective hide and it's just this long figure in your little house and you have to run through the woods and it's never you kind of see them it's always like static and it's all it's all like if they get you it's just like the game closes right that's all i want no explanation just controls and you just know one day like day one and you just see like this thing staring at you in the hallway not slender man not slender man not slender man because it's slender man is more like get the pages this is more like time-based you know it's more like survive how long will you survive you don't know the less explained in the game the more horrifying it is because the moment you see timer remaining like fuck that shit basically survive until dawn when the light comes out again sort of like oh my god sort of like majora's mask Yeah, Slender Man meets Majora's Mask's alien section. Sounds boring as shit, Joel. Yeah, exactly. See what I mean? This is the machine. Uh-oh. Oh, is that lock I can open up? No. Okay. Hmm. I don't think this game was getting to me, but my brother came in asking, see, ask, my brother came in asking, hang on, what's, what's I say? <laughs> but my brother came in without me, me seeing him and scared the shit out of me. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. I don't know, honestly, like, I, I don't design games, I know nothing about game design, and I, I don't really know what I want anyway. Why am I so afraid of aliens? Because uh, I saw some fucked up shit as a kid, and it really fucked me up, so uh, I don't talk about it. You know. Reese's progress to a rapid pace. There's no short. Ah, now you're all intrigued, right? Volunteers through primitive. They're being able to from community code their directions to me between the precision of the fresher corpses that be gone. So it's just corpses that are stitched together into this giant be all end all monster thing. Hmm. So I made made corpses. Okay, that's awesome. Perhaps the skull has more come to life than my family home understands more about this being than any I let me believe. He made flesh golems. And it's a little Lovecraftian. 
you can't bait me. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you my alien story, right? When I was nine or eight, me and my friend saw this UFO in the middle of... This isn't like a thing at like eight, you know, at the night time where you see a little star going across the sky like, ooh, you know. This was broad daylight and we were in the... Um, we were in the the park and it was like 2 p.m. I've, st- I've talked about this story before, but me and my friend were standing there and this is this giant glowing orb shows up. So that's pretty big. It's hovering above us with like these lights circling around several lights. And I'm just, we're staring at it. And some other kid goes, oh, look, it's aliens. And I'm like, fuck are you talking about? Look at what the fuck is that? And I just see it hovering above us. And it, it's not the sun, <laughs> but I see it on the sky. It's above um, the park, and then it goes towards the uh, football field. And it's big, and it's just it doesn't make a sound, and it's big. And I'm like, what? It's just a light orb with other lights spinning around it. And and I'm I, I have this gut feeling in my stomach, like, what the actual fuck is that? Because I'm like, that's aliens. We're actually being invaded. I mean, it was funny at the time, but I'm staring at it like. What the fuck is that? And, and then I just start crying. I'm like, dude, this is this is fucked up. This is like where when reality meets a phobia, we're like, oh, oh my god, my, all my fears and shit has been validated just now. It's like seeing Freddy Krueger in real life. You're like, what the fuck, you know? So I come home and cry. And I'm like, I'm dead. They're like, oh, you just saw a bird in the sky. I'm like, no, you fucking idiots. And I'm sitting there with that night. Let me tell you something. I had my blanket over my nose like this. Is watching the hallway, and whenever there was a noise or a creak in the floor, I'm like, ah! Because I heard a theory that once you see a UFO or any shit like that, if you notice them, they notice you. I was nine years old, and every night, whenever there was a creak in the floor, I'm like, they're here to get me. So that's my UFO story. Hey now, whoop. <laughs> okay. Um, it's ball lightning. I'm sorry. What? What's? What's ball lightning? There, there, there wasn't thunder out. What? What are you saying? There's something here. Yeah, this this is super Lovecraftian. Lightning ball. <laughs> Guys, Gandalf wasn't around. Okay, he didn't cast a fucking magic missile. Anyway, a lot of people, whenever I tell this story, they're like, you're faking it, Joel. You're faking it. You're making shit up. And I've told this story to a lot of people. And I have nothing to gain or I have nothing to like, you know. So whenever people whenever people tell stories of them getting abducted seeing UFOs, the problem is like I start to believe it because there's a lot of hoo-ha sort of, you know, you know, oh, they're just doing it for the money or they want to get publicity or whatever. Now, when I've been in the similar situation, when I hear shit of, like, people getting dragged out of their beds at 3 a.m. by these formless, you know, aliens, then I start to be like, oh, shit, they they were telling the truth, and I've seen similar shit. So, you know, this is is a really uncomfortable subject for me because I'm like, I'm like, it's, it's 7 in the morning, but... I was playing a scary game, and I just feel like incredibly like Whoa. I'm tugging at my collar like ha 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 yeah, <laughs> it's, you know. Okay, I can't figure out where to go exactly. I mean, I thought I was here, but I think okay. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm really glad, I'm really glad that I can be talking about this during a scary game because uh, it makes it all, all the much better because I'm on edge right now. Because whenever I go into a new area of the game, I expect like a thing to be there and I will scream my fucking head off, you know. <laughs> like that. I think we're all on edge now, fuck.
Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Daddy, 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 hurry. Ah! Ah! Oh! Ah! E! Oh! Ah! Who? I'm sorry, that was the scariest thing yet. <laughs> Alright. I'm in Dracula's fucking castle at the moment. Hello, it is me, Dracula. I want to suck your blood. <laughs> okay. In the bone zone. There's a lot of areas here, my god. Uh, but anyway, yeah, about the alien thing, um, the alien thing is, is a little, little, oh, oh, I totally, I went and I completely, I 360 did it, oh my god, alright. I had a really fucked up, uh, idea in my head, now hear me out about this alien thing, right? I had this... I had this scary idea in my head, and just, it's a little hokey, just look, hear me out. My, the idea was that every night, if you have an alien phobia, you get abducted. Every night. And you feel like you have a gut feeling you're about to have, get an abduction every night. And what's happening is like, it happens every night, and they do all this horrible shit to you, but they erase your mind. So, you know, and the more you talk about it, the more prone you are to, you know. <laughs> Joe, what drugs did you take? I haven't had my coffee yet, so no drugs yet. Okay. There's also another scary thought about that. I, I had an, I had a, like a, a weird dream about this. It was a dream within a dream. But my dream was that it's Groundhog Day, except I'm not aware that it's Groundhog Day. I'm reliving the same day every fucking night. Every fucking day. And I can never escape. But it's like, what what the fuck is the point anyway? <laughs> you know? So it's not that scary. It's just stupid. <laughs> the bust of... A, oh, it's uh, Shang Tsung. Alright. Actual Dracula? Wait, is that... It's fucking Vlad, dude. A letter. Oh my god. In fact, many amazing and interesting terrifying ways. Perhaps I'm less exceptional when it comes to assume Sleep comes in small, uncommon concessions. Uh, he's getting more fucked up. Uh, and mental peculiarity to be variable and responsible. As my sanity first begin... Yeah, it's got shell-shocked. And he's apologizing to his wife. Yeah, I got it. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. I must be continuing delving to the catacombs below, where the old ones... The old notes... No, we're not doing that much, Lovecraft. Every indication is telling me that the remnants of the machine are somewhere on the grounds, and Grandfather's old journal strongly suggested he made him craft or some kind of cure himself. Okay. Let's see here. The more bizarre and detached my research seems to become, the more clear that I can see the dreams again and the clear images. So it's very Lovecraft. It's getting these dreams, you know. I see in some of the signs something that seems utterly alien to me, but at the same time, it has an unfamiliarity to it. Like something I've seen in much deeper, softer memories. Once faded deep into the back of my mind. I need to listen to a bit closer tonight. Maybe I'll hear something clearer. I think I have to realize what's being asked of me. Oh, shit. Yeah, I've been having this nightmare myself. It's where I'm this idiotic streamer in, that is, uh... He just can't play video games at all. You know? I live this nightmare every night. Oh, whoa, whoa, hang on, wait, wait, wait a minute. A shelf with hands and other body parts? Uh 
Oh oh. Oh oh. Uh oh. One is moving. This one is fresh. Something is coming. Did they just... Did they just... Oh well. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, when you can't get a hold of the real pyramid head, just... Tesco Great Value Pyramid Head. He looks like he's made out of Play-Doh, but he's just as good as a real thing. Really. He's really a good boy. Okay, I didn't expect to be playing this for so long tonight, but I'm still enjoying it a lot. And I can just... I can just uh, shit talk about aliens and stuff like that. But yeah, I've, I've just had this weird-ass phobia of, like, UFOs and aliens and shit like that. And, uh... It happened to me not so long ago, again, and I don't think I've told this story too much, but I, I don't want to be talking about it because, um, you know, uh, you know, the more I talk about it, I might just, like, I might just, like, this. Well, that was weird. <laughs> okay, so there's something that opened up, but what? There's a lot of doors and stuff, so... I don't know about you guys, but uh, I don't think that was like... The first meat, a meat man that I saw... He didn't look very pyramid heady, but now it's like overtly, you know, Silent Hill 2 and ending E, you know. Joel's been replaced. No, no, Joel's fine. I mean, I'm fine. Let's see here. Um. I thought I could just get down in the drain, but... Alright. It's one of these doors, huh? But... This is still just the area with the, uh... Hmm... Nothing here either, right? Quick, say something only the real Joel would say. Oh, I love Coke! It's me, guys. Stop freaking out. All right. Um... I think I've been everywhere. Uh, this, well, she's still here. <laughs> Can I get the knife though? Why is this corpse still hanging out? Oh, whatever, man. Okay. Hmm. Maybe that did something in the main room. Maybe. I have a story about aliens, but it keeps getting timed out. Send me an email, but uh, let's just let's just stop talking about aliens because uh, uh, they they don't, you know, it's not not a not a problem. Turn on the machine. Nothing happened. Fuck. So I need more, huh? Can't open it. Shit. What's this? Well, I don't need, do I need to heal myself? I'm fine. What? 
hang on, a broken sonar machine? What did it find? This reminds me a lot of, uh, From Beyond. That's also a pretty cool movie. It's a weird ass fucking movie. Uh, capacitor, steam gauge. Uh, anything else I can do? <laughs> a force field. Hmm. Anyway, uh, yeah, I can't figure out where to go because, like, a pretty large area this place, but it's got to be somewhere here. Come on, like, you know, you know, what really benefit this game a map. I think a map would be great, especially this like late in the game or whatever. Getting lost is a true horror of this game, like any horror game, really, you know. So it opened up something the control panel. Where the fuck? This feels a lot like I'm playing Harvester. Not Harvester. Well, maybe a little bit Harvester, but more like Phantasmagoria, in fact. But the basement and like the experiments. You know. So this goes up again, but where the fuck? Okay, I'm being really confused now, so. Um. By the way, if you're curious, we will be playing Phantasmagoria 2 this year, which is uh, a really beloved FMV game. Like, a lot of FMV games are just shit on because they're FMV games, but Phantasmagoria 2, like, I think, like, generally, the best FMV games are point and click because they don't really essentially take away from the gameplay, they're just a graphical style. Um, but yeah, Phantasmagoria 2 will definitely be played. Um, Okay, I, this has got to be something. Phantasmagoria beloved. Oh yeah, it's totally beloved, dude. Like it's got a, a cult following, man. Like you know, people people like asked for it to be put on Steam and stuff. So you know, it might not be like the largest uh, fan base or whatever, but you know, still. Okay. Um, <laughs> point and click. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, what I might do, what I might do, honestly, is maybe continue this at another date, because it's almost 8 in the morning now, and I have other games I want to stream, and I might just resume the ending at another point, because I feel like I'm just going in the same area over and over and over again. It's driving me nuts. Like, it's, it's not a bad game. It's not a bad game. Like, I, I, I like this a lot, but um, I feel this this game should have ended a while ago, I feel. Like, it, it feels like it's dragging in the ending here. Like, don't get me wrong. I still like it a lot, but it's just too fucking long, you know? But the problem is, I don't know if this game autosaves. So if I close this game down, like, you know, I guess I'll just all. Whoa, whoa. Hey now. <laughs> whoa, hello. <laughs> What's going on? Whoa, this this place. Whoa, what the hell is what? This pill is crazy. Is that what the doctor was researching all along? Okay. <laughs> hey now. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. God damn it. Please, we can do this, Margaret. Someone call Simple Flips, please. We have a situation. Just come on. Okay. Maybe I can just like. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. 
You gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna try to push myself out of here, okay? Oh, please, just... Bato ento. It auto-saves? Well, that's, that's good. I'm determined, guys. This is gonna be the, the ending of tonight. I'm gonna get out of here. Alright. Four hours later. Okay. Let, let's let's see what where this game goes. I, let's just open up again, all right? And let's let's hope, let's hope things are not so terrible. Here we go. <laughs> oh lord! Here's hoping, guys. Here's hoping. Oh, thank God. Okay, but where? Where? Uh Oh Okay. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Whatever. We just lost a ton of progress, but uh Hey whatever. Um I will say this. This game was at its best at the First and second day, I think. When I was at the maze, like the little garden maze, and that thing showed up, that was the best part. That, with me getting the box, and the first part where we're just getting to the door, and then it it started to kind of drop off quality a little bit more and more and more. It was really scary when I lit the candles, but I honestly think when I got to Margaret, it should have been you firing at things and trying to just escape and then quit it. Like, I, I feel it's getting a little too... Lovecraft jerkin at the end now, which is fine, really, but you know, I, I feel it's it's waiting in a little bit in quality. It's not horrible, but uh, I, I I enjoyed it the first like more at the start of it, and I, I know this is gonna be weird criticism because I'm gonna get criti criticism for this, but I feel some of the reading can be done better. I I, I this is kind of stupid, but I feel it's. Sometimes it's better for the player. I don't know. It's more of a tribute to like the the games of old and where journals was more of a thing. But I think if you present the things happening maybe in a more visual sense or an auditory sense, I don't like audiobooks or like audio logs in games. But maybe show don't tell, as someone pointed out, um, it's a little excessive. Um, but still. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, we will be showing the ending, um, you know, uh, at another point. But I feel we can do this on part two of this. For now, though, I want to move on and play some other stuff. And I actually have a huge list of stuff I've got tonight. So sit tight, and we're going to move on to a uh, horror stink pack. Not Garbo. Not Garbo, but yeah. Unneeded exposition. Well, I think it was unneeded. It was just clumsily put together, you know. Uh, but anyway, I will be right back with more stink. So, uh, you know what? Anyway, be right back. Sit tight. Help me.